Welcome to Iris Insights, the channel for Iris app development using Swift UI and Swift. In this tutorial, we will create a pop-up sheet. This sheet enables searching, selection and displaying of different fruit details. The purpose of a pop-up, it enables the child screen to appear on the parent screen. This is how the pop-up works. This is the parent screen that shows the actual button, fruit pop-up. So when we click on the button, fruit pop-up, this screen pops up. This screen here, it's got a list of fruits. It pops up on the parent screen. And then within the pop-up screen, we can like, filter by different types of fruits. For example, you can type in banana, that B, B A for banana, apple, I mean A P P for pineapple, that includes apple. And then we can select one of the fruits. And then the selected fruit is then displayed on the parent view. So this is the application that we'll be creating in this tutorial. Within your content view, type the following. At state private var is sheet presented equals false. And the purpose of this variable is to track if the sheet has been displayed or not. Create another variable called at state private var selected fruit name string image string question mark question mark equals nil on line 12 the selected fruit variable is a tuples variable so a tuples variable enables the variable to store or hold multiple values into a single compound value it's a little bit similar to a class so the selected fruit tuple variable has like similar things like properties which are name and image. So that's the purpose of that variable to store the selected fruit which is the name and the image of the fruit. And then on line 16, delete everything from line 16 to lines 21. And then enter another closing bracket. And on line 16, just type the following. Button. action selected fruit equals nil is sheet presented toggle open bracket text open bracket comma and then open the emoji picker by pressing on the keyboard the following keys 
which are control, which is CTRL P, and then the command P, and then the space key, space bar, and then filter on any fruit, it's up to you, I just filter on orange. And then just type the word fruit pop up and then filter on another fruit so just like select or hold down control key and then CMD command key in the spacebar and then for the second fruit I will enter Apple. Then type in font, headline, dot foreground, color, dot white, dot background, dot blue dot corner radius dot 20 and then the next thing we need to do is on line or after line 25 just type the following if let selected fruit is equal to selected fruit so lines 27 it just makes sure that the actual variable includes a value and it's not nil and it does that by unwrapping it to do the actual check so if there's a value in the selected fruit value then fruit details view fruit details view open bracket fruit selected fruit. The details view will be created later so we just comment that line out, line 28. If is sheet presented open bracket fruit list sheet is presented dollar sign Is sheet presented? Selected fruit. And then dollar sign. Selected fruit. So the fruitless sheets 
that will contain the list of fruits that the user can select from. And then just type in dot frame. Open bracket width. 320 and height 500 dot background color dot white dot corner radius twenty dot overlay rounded rectangle corner radius 20 dot stroke dot gray line width 1 and then on line 43 or anywhere after line 42 just type in dot padding and the purpose of the dot padding is to apply padding to the entire V stack so as I mentioned earlier, the fruit list sheets and the fruit details view that will be created next week. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.